Hey, what's going on everybody? It's KB here and today I'm gonna do a software review for Windows 10 PC. So this is a pretty amazing software and must-have software. So let's first start with how to download this. You have to visit this site antibodysoftware.com. I will put link in the description. Don't worry about that. Once you are here, you will see click here to download. You just have to click on it and it should download. And I have already downloaded it and it's only almost four megabyte. So after you download that, install it. The installation is really simple as you install the other programs. Once you install it, you will see Wiz3 software. So the software name is Wiz3. And uh, let me give you an idea what is this software about, okay? So this software is amazing because you can find out what type of files or what is taking your space in your PC. So normally if you go into the file explorer of the Windows 10 and search for like, you know, if you want to find out what is taking the space in your Windows PC, you can't do that. There is no way, okay? So in Wiz3, this is like, magic it, it will show you all the details about what is the biggest file which is taking your space you know everything so let me show you now in wiz3 it is pretty simple to find out what is taking your space you have to select your driver first i have three drivers one is windows 10 which is c drive d drive and k drive in c drive i have installed my windows 10 so i'm gonna scan it okay like that select your driver and after that scan it and you can see this is pretty amazing as you can see here windows folder is taking 33 percent of my storage this is a system folder so there is nothing suspicious about it but if you want to find out easily the easiest way to find out what is taking your windows 10 pc space then you can see there are like big and small colors you can see we have a green we have a yellow we have a blue so we just have to click on it because bigger color size means bigger file so let's say this green one it's taking four gigabytes so what's this i'm gonna right click and click on file explorer and here we have all the things this is the four gigabyte file okay we find out easily now i can easily just delete it but i know what's this this is a andy android emulator so i don't want to delete this but in any case if you find like suspicious file you can easily delete them so that's like really easy way to find out what is taking your space in your pc you know so let's say this one vmware so you can see it it, it gives you all the information you need about the file and it can direct you to the uh, directly directly like you can find out any file inside this you can open any files location easily you just have to click on these you know the colors and it will easily land you there so this is a system file as you can see here and we can't delete the system file system file means nothing suspicious but if you see any suspicious thing which is like a really large file then you can you know right click and delete that you know i actually i keep my pc always like clean so i don't think there is any suspicious but if you're a new pc user or you get confused like why my pc is getting full like storage so this is the perfect program for you to find out why is your pc full your pc storage is full you know and so this is just perfect program and the greatest thing about this program is it's absolutely free but if you want to donate there is a donate button and you can donate as you wish five dollar ten twenty so yeah as you can see here uh, this is something red color I'm gonna open it continue I think this is a system file I can't delete yes I did actually that was like temporary file <laughs> i never knew about this and i cleaned three gigabyte okay amazing okay i think it's gone it's not here anymore as you can see i deleted this file it was 700 megabytes so you know that's how it's like amazing software to clean up your pc if you don't know you know where are those dumb files like temporary files you can easily find out about that easily as you can see this doesn't work i have to refresh again now scan again to as you can see that thing is gone let's say this one recycle red means it's a dump file or temporary files 
recently just new okay <laughs> so recycle bin as you can see this is all I have I'm gonna delete all these again okay. done gone they are all gone now I have to refresh if I want to know if they are gone or not okay now it's gone and uh, what is this this is a installer okay what was that again oh windows update installer so i can also delete this actually i think so no yeah actually i can delete that windows installer that was the temporary file which windows has hidden you know it was a update so as you can see that thing is also gone you can see from here that all of these files are deleted this is like amazing amazing software okay now I can rescan it again one more time I'm also new to this so I'm also getting confused how to use this but it's not that complicated to use you can find out about any file at any time you just saw I clean up lots of files you can also do with the other disk i'm gonna clean the other one okay scanning the disk d i'm pretty familiar with this disk d because there i store my games and extra files so there is nothing too much you know so windows client system files okay you just have to hover your mouse to the color and you will know everything about it so as you can see this is the meme emulator these pink thing uh, I mean uh, orange or reddish or brown thing is for me in my case this is a blue stack this is a video okay what the heck where where is oh it's a recently recorded video okay it is taking space of one gigabyte almost as you can see it's like okay there is a something I don't know I'm just gonna right click. Oh, it's a ROM file for my phone. I can actually delete this. You know, I'm. It's so easy to use, and it's so useful software. You know, that's how you use this software, and this is like must-have software for your Windows PC. You can use it on Windows 10, 7, 8. I don't guarantee about the XP Vista or anything like that, but if you are using Windows 7, 8, and 10, it should work. Okay. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it and I will put a link in the description for this software. You can go there and get this. It is completely free software but if you want to do a donation, there is a donation button. You just help and support the developers. But if you are a poor guy like me, you can't donate. You can still use it for forever. This is just free, completely free software. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.